our job here is to search him out wherever he hides, however he travels and supplies his forces. To seek him along all the avenues through which he infiltrates the Republic of Vietnam, carrying the weapons of his aggression. Our job is to find him, Because the enemy over here is fighting basically an unconventional war, he does not rely on holding terrain, but more importantly, the people. The foundation of unconventional war rests on the need for their support. In this kind of struggle, whoever has the people wins the war. So we must deny the enemy the popular support he has to have in order to survive. And more than that, we must enlist that popular support behind our own effort and behind the government of the Republic of Vietnam, whose cause we represent to the people through whose villages we travel and fight. So the issue turns on the people in their villages and hamlets, and these become the ultimate battlefields of the war, as we and the enemy both endeavor to win their support. As the war thus ebbs and flows through their lives and villages, the people themselves have little control over that constant movement. Nor, ironically, is the grave issue of the war, the threat to freedom which communist aggression poses, always clear to the people whose support will determine the ultimate decision. Their lives are lived at the edge of fundamental experiences, and it is the fundamentals with which they are concerned. Poverty, hunger, disease, and a deep yearning to live in peace without fear for they have known the trials of war now for many long years. Their allegiance will go, inevitably, to the side which most clearly demonstrates a sympathetic interest in those fundamental problems. The winning of their support, then, will take other weapons beyond those in our arsenal of firepower. It will take the intangible weapons of compassion and goodwill. In the early phase of the war, the Viet Cong proved themselves adept at using those weapons simply by persuading the people that they were their friends and protectors who would help to bring them a better life. The real objectives of communism were always underplayed or obscured entirely. They're still doing that as much as they can. But one factor has changed the direction of the war significantly. The big buildup of American forces. the buildup, the Viet Cong's hold on the countryside started to loosen. <laughs> 